past seven on Nova 100 with Tizzy and Kate Macklemore, Ryan Lewis, Thrift Shop there on Nova, uh-huh. which is a song of particular importance yes, for you, Katie. Yes, it is. Yeah, we'll be talking about that after 8.30. Yes, it's your chance to come on my tag pop and tour. Mm, Details at NovaFM.com. It's going to be fun. What else will be fun will be a cricket match, which is happening at the Bo Morris Cricket Club tomorrow night. That's Uh, right. Gates at five. Banksy Reserve in Bo Morris. And it's all uh, to help... uh, a 42-year-old man who is suffering an illness at the moment. He was once a, he, well, he, he was a star tennis player, um, but a good friend of his or a friend of his family's is Stephen Milne, star footballer for the St Kilda Footy Club. Good morning, Milne. G'day, Yuzi, you mad Carlton supporter. Yes. And, well, Kate, <laughs> and Kate, another mad St Kilda supporter, which is well, very good. you know, there's no sane Carlton supporters, Milne, well, nor the, sane well, the fact, Actually, the fact is, the last, the last uh, footy match Carlton played in was uh, against St Kilda at the end of last year. Oh, really? And, uh, yeah, <laughs> Milne was... I mean, Milne was really going off that day, weren't you, Milne? Yeah, it's a bit of a different game, that one. I'm still a bit uh, tired from the fight that uh, I shared at the start of the game. I'm just, I'm just getting over that. Sure. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, uh, it was pretty full on. Um, yeah, it was a good, interesting game, that one. It was interesting. Now, this, um, this fundraiser that you've got on, on Friday night yep. is actually, it's going to be a great night, but it's for, uh, um, it's, I guess the, the origins of it are really unfortunate that your mate, who's in a bit of a bad way, needs his help. Yep. Yeah, he does. And me and one of the guys from the footy club um, got together because our son's all playing the same team with, right. with Andrew's son, Joy. And um, a couple of weeks ago, we got some bad news. So we just got together and tried to organise a bit of a cricket game. And it's gone through the roof. We've had that much stuff donated and... 300 people on Facebook have already confirmed coming. So. Oh, really? How, how much room have you got how, for people? Yeah, plenty of room. It's a massive cricket club and, yeah. you know, the bar's going to be opened and we've got an auctioneer coming to auctioneer 14 or 15 things off and 20 stolen auction things and plenty of stuff to raffle and got 10 mountain bikes donated, TVs, um, coffee machines. Warney's been great donating stuff, so... And there'll be entertainment on the night? Yeah, there'll be a DJ there. I think yep. there's a singer coming, so... Star um, spotting. Well, you've got Shane star Crawford, Wayne star Arthurs, star Richard spotting. Fromberg, Tennis Stars. You've got uh, Stewie Lowe, Steve Baker, Nick Del Sano, James Gwilt. Also, just a few of the people who'll be there. And yep. is your mate Andrew going to be able to enjoy the evening as well, Oh, Milne? hopefully, hopefully. Um, yeah, right. He started therapy on Tuesday and the reports he was going pretty well, so... If he's in, um, you know, good condition, he's going to pop down and say good day, which is right. good. So, and he's, he's one of his kids is going to play in the game as well, Oliver. Oh. So it's uh, going to be a special day for the Florent family. Well, that's and, and a Andrew, very lovely. Andrew thing reached. Do. He was number thirteen in doubles in the world ranking as a tennis really? player. Mm. Yeah, he went, he went all right apparently. So apparently he's a bit of a gun and just a ripping fella. So anything we can do for their family to help them, you know, for the next twelve months, going to be pretty tough. So. Um, anything we can do to raise a bit of money, we're uh, happy to help. So, Bo Morris Creek Club tomorrow night, Banksy Reserve, uh, gates open at five. That, the match starts at six. Perfect. Yep, beautiful. Now, Perfect. Be- before we let you go, mm-hmm. Melanie, we've got to ask you Well, about- are you going to see the pharmacist before the match is the question? <laughs> I'll, I'll take the doctor down with me. But right. Nice <laughs> well, got, you've got a choice now. You've got the ageless, Dr. Ageless. Yeah, well, he's he just Have you heard board. about Dr. Ageless, Milne? No, I, no, I haven't. He's a new one who's come out of the Are woodwork. you keeping up with the story, Milne? It's fascinated most people oh, in Melbourne. It really has. There's, uh, you know, I know the, the uh, bucks of it, but there's not much um, going on and new stories coming out every day. It's pretty hard but, mm. Up to well, we have to ask you. I have to ask you this. Have, if you, the thing is that the, the fact that they were made to sign a waiver. Have you had to sign something before you were given drugs or given supplements? Have you ever had to sign anything at, at your, you know, thirteen or fifteen years at St Kilda? No, nah, not at the Saints. We haven't. So, um, you know, that would probably you know ring, ring alarm bells. But anything that we, uh, you know, take at the club, we supplements is with massage and we go through the docs. So. Um, yeah, it's going to be uh, interesting the way it plays out. Is it the sort of thing, though, Milne, that it, it would seem strange if you were suddenly asked to sign it, but if all of you as a team were signing it, would you just be one of those sorts of things where I imagine you're not thinking always about the day-to-day. You just A lot of it's been doing what you're told. Yeah, exactly, and that would have went through the right channels and, and stuff like that and thought, oh, this is legit, and all of a sudden I didn't think it was going to come out, so... 
Um, if everyone signed it, it's not like just one or two yes. players have signed yeah, it. If, everyone. Yeah, you know, it's not... Most of the whole team signed it, you would think yeah. it's legit. What about injections? Do, do the Saints, do you guys get injections as a... You know, do you get supplements injected on a regular basis? No, we've never had supplements injected. Only things we get injected or I've been injected for is like painkillers. If you've got a little bit of an injury to uh, right. you know, numb the pain and you know get yeah. back out there. Well, so that's so. interesting. Without, yeah. um, without getting specific, when you heard that this came out about Essendon, yep. were you surprised? Oh, yeah, very surprised. Okay, so um, even though you'd seen their form last year and then how it suddenly... They, they went into a decline. None of that had had sparked any talk amongst other football players that you knew. No, not, not at all. Okay, that's um, interesting, yeah. isn't it? Mm, it is. It's all it's all very interesting and it's yeah, very interesting, isn't it? Story hasn't finished yet, but a good news story is what's happening tomorrow night at Bo Morris Cricket Club. So. It is. Good on you, mate. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Milne. Cheers, Milne. for tomorrow night. Five o'clock tomorrow night, and the game starts at six by Morris Cricket Club. Nova.